welcome. Today we're going to put the finishing touches on this painting. So let's get started. Well, the first thing we're going to do is start to put some highlights on the the rail cars. I have some white, some thinner, and some some brown. We'll just go in and put some highlight colors over where we put the the background colors in. I'm going to put some across the top of the, the cars and we'll throw a few vertical lines in here and there. I'll zoom in so you can get a close-up of that. Next we're going to start on the last locomotive. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put in all the shadows in the dark areas. So I have my thinner and some black. You want it really thin so it will flow almost like a watercolor. Okay, I've got some white and some thinner. We're going to put some indications of numbers on, on the engine. I'm going to give you a close-up on this last engine while I finish putting the details on it. Okay, I've got a little bit of white, blue, and brown and some thinner. And I'm just going over very lightly the different highlights on the locomotive. All you need is just little indications of light. I'll give you a close up on that. Okay, now we're going to start the second locomotive. Putting the light reflections on the second locomotive. I'll zoom in so you can watch me do that. What I did is I took some blue, some white, and some thinner, and a touch of black. I put the reflective light on the engine and while that's drying I'm going to start putting the highlights on the bottom. I'll give you a close-up of what we got going on so far. So far I've got the reflective light on the the engine, then I put the highlights on the bottom. Then next we're gonna we'll put the orange where the steps are and then we'll work on the railing. Got a couple more things to put on this second locomotive, then I'll give you a close-up of it. Well, I'm pretty much done with the second locomotive. Got the railing in. What you want to keep in mind is you want to keep the railing pretty much parallel with the first engine. I got a little bit of highlights to put on a couple things but it's pretty much done and you can see that putting all the background color on really made a difference whenever we went and put the highlights on it really makes it stand out okay now we're going to start with the lead locomotive 
So we'll start up here at the top. In the windows there's some reflections of the blue sky and the clouds. So I just took a little bit of blue, some black, a little bit of white. We're just going to put in some different shapes. We got the, the sky and the windows and once that dries I'll take some thinner and some some gray and lightly go over that to tone them down a little bit. The next thing we're going to do is start putting in the reflective light on this first locomotive. What I have is some thinner, some white, some ultramarine blue, and I'm just putting on like a a thin layer of paint. It's almost like a wash. What that'll do for you is it'll tone down the brightness of that color. And while we're waiting for that to dry, which will take just a few minutes. We'll start putting the highlights on the bottom of this first locomotive. Once again on my brush I've got a little white and brown and a touch of blue and we'll start putting the highlights in. I just got finished with the tank. I just took brush strokes and went this way with different colors with browns and grays and things then I took a darker shade and brought it up like this to give the tank the roundness that it needs I got a couple more things to do with the bottom of this front locomotive then I'll give you a close up on it here's a close up of the bottom and then after this dries I may take a, a liner brush and some black and go over a few areas to add a little more detail but it's still fairly wet at this point but there's a good shot of it now that this top is dry we're going to start to put the the rails in what I'm doing now is I'm taking a little bit of the orange color that I used, some thinner, a little bit of black, and I've been putting the shadows and the doors on the locomotive. Now we're going to start to put some of the details on the front of the cab. That's about all the time I have for today. Just this video is like 12 hours worth of editing. I really wanted to finish it off, but I'm about to break it up into two videos. So we'll finish it off next time. So thanks for watching. Take care.